Hey, thanks for coming back. Uh, this is the 10th in our series of messages called After God's Heart. I'm calling this one Recovering from a Huge Mistake. Uh, David was called by God a man after God's own heart. Uh, he began as a shepherd. He had a tender heart toward God. He wrote many psalms in the desert. Uh, he was anointed to be the king, and uh, he defeated Goliath. Uh, he was hated by Saul, so Saul tried to kill him, and he had a couple chances to kill Saul, but he didn't do it. He left vengeance to God. Uh, he, uh, uh, when his men went to recapture their wives and children who'd been kidnapped, uh, 200 were too tired to go on, and some of the soldiers said, well, they shouldn't get to share in the plunder. And David says, oh, no, 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 no. God gave us the victory. So they share equally in the plunder. One of his greatest lines. So he's done all these wonderful things, uh, led a stellar life. But then in one evening, he commits adultery, murders the woman's husband, and lies about it. Have you ever done anything that bad? Talk in your group for just a minute. Uh, uh, have you ever done anything where you thought you had ruined your life? So, can you recover from a mistake? Or are some mistakes just you can't, you can't ever get back? Uh, well, God says Nathan, the prophet, to uh, confront David. And David immediately confesses his sin. I have sinned against God. Uh, the consequences still come. His family is messed up pretty much the rest of his life. A lot of problems there. But God blesses him again. A lot of good things happen in his life. So this message that I'm going to talk about this Sunday is a real message of hope. If you think you've done something so bad you can never get back, not so. Uh, David was called a man after God's own heart even after that, and uh, he recovered. So can you. Hope to see you Sunday.